Hello class, this is section 5.6 and in this video we are going to discuss the minimization principle. First, as a shorthand, I'm going to write down RQU for this formula because writing down the whole Rayleigh quotient is a huge pain. So RQU basically means that we write down the, Re the Rayleigh quotient but with U instead of uh, the fee that we had in the previous video. So in particular, if lambda is, eigen, is an eigenvalue and phi is an eigenvector corresponding to that eigenvec, eigenvalue, then what the Rayleigh equation does is that it gives us lambda equals r q of that phi. And in this video, we are going to talk about an application to the Rayleigh equation in that it helps us to find the lowest eigenvalue. So let lambda 1 be the lowest eigenvalue. We have used this notation before. So remember that even though the Sturm Louisville, a regular Sturm Louisville problem has infinitely many eigenvalues, there is a minimum one, there is a smallest eigenvalue. And in the examples that we studied in the beginning of this course, typically the smallest eigenvalue was either 0 or pi over L. But there is always a lowest eigenvalue, let's call it lambda 1, and it has an eigenfunction. And of course, that's lambda 1 equals RQ phi1, where phi1 is the eigenfunction corresponding to the lowest eigenvalue. But what the minimization principle does is that it gives us a way to estimate the lowest eigenvalue even when we don't know exactly what the corresponding eigenfunction is. And this says that lambda1 is actually the minimum for all functions u of the Rayleigh quotient on u. We have to discuss what this minimum means. This minimum runs across all u, the u that are continuous and satisfy the boundary conditions of our sturm louisville problem. We are leaving out something important here. Note that the u does not have to solve the sturm louisville equation. So this u can be any arbitrary function. So it must satisfy the boundary conditions and it must be continuous, but u can be anything. And this is great because here's the problem. The sturm louisville equation is super complicated. It's really hard to solve. So if we can find a way to get information about the eigenvalues without having to solve that nasty equation, so much the better. And it turns out that this minimization principle allows us to do, do just that. Now, we, we won't get exactly the minimum eigenvalue, but we will often get a really good estimate. So this consists of, this gives us a way to get a grasp on that minimum eigenvalue. This method will be a lot clearer with an example, which we will demonstrate in the next video.